I look like those people who sit on their roofs with pots and pans and put foil on their heads searching for aliens. What's up, Blues? It's your girl, Avia Lynn, back again with another video. Y'all, my silk do-rag came in the mail. I am so excited. I have been trying to buy this do-rag for about three months now because they're always sold out. If you're not familiar with Guap Dad 4000, the rapper, <laughs> one of my favorite rappers he uh, sells a line of silk do-rags in all different colors so as you can see here they're like iridescent look oh my god that oh my god that looks good in the light jesus i'm gonna be shot it okay well here's the thing here's the thing he sells these do-rags and he actually gave me a discount code on instagram so shout out to you guap dad 4000 if you're ever somehow looking at this video i don't know how to tie a do-rag nor have i ever worn a do-rag in my entire life like i've seen do-rags tied but i have no idea for the life of me how they're doing it it has like this little back part i don't know exactly how to put this on my head. So I thought it would be a fun idea to just try to find different ways to tie my do-rag without looking at any tutorials, without looking at any how-to pictures. It's just gonna be me and my hands. But before we get this video started, I just wanna say if you're not already following me on my social media, bam, you can follow me here as well as here. I'm on Instagram daily and I would get on Twitter more if y'all would follow me. If you guys didn't see my live stream about the Black Lives Matter movement, the protest, cancel culture, I did a really great 45 minute live stream um, that I would like to do again. I do have a video coming out soon about my personal protest experience and the footage that I got from my protest and just my thoughts about the whole situation. Also, I would like to say I have linked some petitions as well as donation links in the bio. So if you don't have enough money to give you can at least sign your name whether that be George Floyd or Black Lives Matter or some petitions to get the bastards that have been killing black people all over this country arrested but we're not going to talk about that this is a very light-hearted video but yeah check out my protest video um this video should be up on Thursday hopefully so the protest video should be up um this upcoming Saturday so be on the lookout for that but let's get to today's video I guess I should like kind of show you what kind of do-rag it is so here you can see it has guap for guap dad 4000 and then underneath it says it's a check <laughs> that's something he often says in his music it's a check it's a check so yeah i wish i could play some of his music in the background just to like give homage but i'm not trying to get copyright claims so there's that so let's just go ahead and start i have a really big mirror right here so if you guys see me looking off to the left that's what i'm looking at it's gonna be our first attempt on tying a do-rag so i guess it's like a a do-rag get ready with me because i don't have anything to talk about uh other than this thing on my head so yeah oh my gosh y'all look at these colors this iridescence color is iridescent iridescent isn't a color i'm dumb i'm sorry y'all don't repeat that ever again <sighs> wait a minute is my head big or like is this not fitting down on my head like like round like why does it look like my head goes up at an angle i don't understand what's happening okay wait let me just you know you gotta always gotta smooth your hair out first that's the first step of putting on a do-rag smooth out your hair and just make sure you get it as flat as possible for those who uh have big heads like me okay also i am seven months locked y'all <laughs> what oh my gosh i have dreads what okay but for a try number two my head still looks a little it's like a slope maybe maybe i'm supposed to like tie it real tight and it'll flatten down on my head okay so all right there we go what what is these strings for in this big back part what is what is this part for oh y'all i'm starting to sweat oh my god oh lord all right a minute uh oh oh that's not right is that is that supposed to be sticking out in the back oh y'all i look like those people who sit on their roofs with pots and pans and put foil on their heads searching for aliens this is not i thought this was gonna be a little simple six minute video of me putting on a do-rag but it's like what the what are y'all, wizards? Y'all y'all got to be wizards because I, I feel really stupid right now. I feel really... And why does my head keep going? Look at this. Y'all see that? 
Uh oh, y'all, I look like I have foil on my head, literally. Oh my gosh, okay. So, let's let's take it off. I'm starting to sweat. I'm getting a little, getting a little oily. Oh Lord. Ooh, okay, all right. Start back at step one. You know what, I just, I figured it would be boring for me to show you guys how to tie a do-rag. There are so many videos that tell you how to tie a do-rag for girls and for boys on the internet, so I just figured it would be dumb to try to watch a tutorial and learn how to do it and then show y'all how to do it like I'm some type of do-rag tying expert. So you gotta put it in the middle of your head. It's kinda like laying a wig. You don't want it too far down on your head, but you don't want it too far back either. So we are gonna put it right here in the middle. It's so pointy at the top. Why is it so pointy? Is this, is this right? Oh, there's so much going on back here. There it go. <laughs> All right. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes I see guys with the little flappy part out, like it'll hang over their head. I'm pretty sure the tied part isn't supposed to sit on my, on my locks. Like it's literally tied on my locks. <laughs> How do you do this? How do guys do this? Is that a look? Y'all, did I just do something? Hold on. This is kind of like an Amish look, you know? <laughs> I think the best thing to do is to watch how to tie a do-rag and then only watch it once and then we'll kind of use that as a competition to like see what I've learned and we'll see if I can actually get it done. So. A moment from our sponsors. I failed very, uh, very badly. It was, it was honestly a disgrace to all people who wear do rags. I decided to learn from the king himself, Guap Dad 4000, the man who I actually bought my do rag from. So he is going to teach us how to tie a do rag today. Just a simple little two minute video. I hope I don't get copyrighted for using it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna learn that way. So let's do it. Hey, you bought that for a thousand. Let's start. Happen to have a do-rag right here. Pulled that do-rag out of his pocket like he was a magician, okay? Hi, I'm A.V. And today I'm going to teach you how to tie a do-rag. So first you're just going to start off by pulling a do-rag out your cleavage. And you're just going to slap it on your head. So that I don't need a mirror. As you do your first wait, cross. Wait, 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 wait. How is his so flat to his head? His comes down very flat and nice and round like a normal head should be. And mine, like, peaks up at an angle like it's a hill or something. I Stop. Stop moving. Sorry. Just had a little talk with my do-rag there. I definitely want my bangs to hang a little bit. So let's try that one more time. Y'all, I think we figured it out. <gasps> I lied. We did not figure it out. Y'all. It took me 20 minutes just to get it to this part. I cannot make any more mistakes. So I'll just slightly choke myself as I watch the rest of the video. And make sure they flat. Bam. One tentacle turn into a headband. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Y'all, this looks so good. I want this to be as symmetrical as possible. Ooh. Maybe I could like fold this one on the black side. Ooh. Gotta hold this piece tight while I do this. Focus, I'm so focused. Okay. And then I just tie it. Oh, that looks so tight to my head. You know what? I don't care. I did it. I feel like I have a lot of loose fabric. Maybe if I just pull this part down. Oh, y'all. The whole point of this do-rag was to look cool now that I have locks that are actually locked up. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe. Y'all, I know that this isn't the type of video that I usually do. I know I'm not the type of person who usually wears a do-rag, but I'm still stuck in the house because I do not trust going in public yet. As soon as things kind of open back up a little bit more in North Carolina, I'll be able to kind of venture out of this environment that I've put myself in. If you're not already following me on my social media, you can follow me, bam here as well as here i am on instagram daily and i will get on twitter more if you guys actually followed me be on the lookout for a new video this upcoming saturday if not then this upcoming sunday or whenever i decide to post it you guys stay tight and i'll catch you another late night bye
did you like and subscribe?